Hello everyone, my name is Ashutosh Deshpande and I am here today to talk about how do we create customizations in ITSM progressive views that will provide exactly the same functionality that you may have achieved with smart data screen configurations. We are not going to cover each and every use case, but this video is to demonstrate how this can be done with one simple use case. So for this case, uh, I'm going to initially show you a customization that is done in Smart IT with screen configurations where progressive views are not opted in. So I've logged in into Smart IT as an agent. I've made some customizations into incident. I'm now on this incident view screen where I have this client type, which is a custom field that I have added in this view. The field is already available in developer studio something that you would have also done. So I just need to make sure this field also gets visible on the Smart IT UI. There is also some logic that we have added. So let's quickly take a look at what is the screen configuration behind this field. So since I'm also an administrator, I'm able to switch to screen configuration. In this case, uh, the my configured new field is part of this customer contact panel. Customer phone and customer email are two out of the box fields which are already available. What I have done here is the client type or the contact client type is the database field name. This is the new custom field which I have added here. As you can notice, I have also added a conditional hide for this particular field. The condition says if dollar priority is equal to equal to low, then this field should be hidden. So if my incident priority is low, then field should be hidden. Otherwise the field should be available. There are other conditions which I can use on the similar lines, but this demonstration basically talks about how will we achieve this in progressive view. Let's also see this condition in action. So let's go back to our incident. I can see that at this moment, my incident priority is medium. That is why the field is visible. If I just edit this and manipulate my urgency so that my priority becomes low. And now if I save this, I can see that the field is no longer visible. So as part of screen configuration, not just adding a new field, but also based on certain conditions, certain other fields on the UI, the field becomes visible. So this is uh, one of the simple examples I have taken, but you will have similar cases in other cases. Now I have not opted into progressive view yet on this system. So now if I want to opt in into the progressive view, out of the box progressive views do not have this field. I'm just going to switch to another system where I have opted in into progressive views. Let me open this again. So I am on this smart IT now where I have a similar incident created. I'm just opening that incident and I can see that this is a progressive view. It is based on the new PWA technology that we have here. I can see that in the customer panel, I see this uh, email address phone number, but there is no client type field at this moment. It has not been added. This is out of the box. So let's also change the severity for this ticket. Let's also change priority for this ticket, which is currently calculated as low. I'm just going to make it uh, high so that the calculated priority now in this case has become medium. Let's save this. And we, we are back on our screen for viewing incident. There is no field yet anyway in progressive view. This is still an out of the box setup. So we don't see anything. Now to get that field on here, what is it that I have to do in a progressive view? So I'm switching to developer studio. I can see that it is HPD help desk form, which basically serves incidents. I need to create overlay of this form. And then I also need to create overlay of the SV underscore view, which is the view that has been introduced for rendering view incident screen using progressive views. So let's first begin by right clicking and opening, uh, creating an overlay for the form. Uh, 
okay so overlay has been created for hpd help desk now we need to go to sv view which is the view that is used for viewing the incident and we need to create overlay of this sv view also so that we will do from dev studio and create view overlay so as we can see the view overlay has been created this is needed because we will be adding a new field to this view now we need to identify where are we going to adding that field going to be adding that field so here where we sh we are displaying the customer details we have the next set of uh, fields which do not have the label for uh, ui purpose but i can see that the field is internet email so in this panel just below the email is where i need to add that field now where is this field so the field is already available in the form we will just pick it up from another view where it is ready the simplest thing we can do is instead of locating the field let's make use of uh, outline view and we know the label of this field is client type so we will locate that field from here uh, and uh, here you go so here is that client type field whose database id is contact client type so this client type field let's right click on this and copy it so we have copied the field let's go to sv view now we identified a place where we want to add it so yes this is the customer field and this is the internet email field let's go back to the tree view so in this panel is where we need to add it currently we only have internet email below that we need to add it now for that to be allowed we need to first add this field to view overlay so we have done that and simply now right click we can right click on this field and we can say paste the field that we had copied we are just trying to paste it here it gives me two options do we want to create a new field no in this case we already have the field with data present in it so we simply need to add it to this view so it is confirming that it will add the existing field to the view overlay and yes i want to exactly do that i can see that the field got added of course it is hidden i can adjust the panels which for now i'm not going to do but i can see that now inside this panel i have two fields there is an internet email and there is a contact client type field which got added i'm just verifying the display properties and i can notice that the field is not visible so i'm going to make it visible also i want the field to be read only so i'm going to change the field access to read only as well as i'm going to mark display as text as true so with these changes that i have done there is no other change needed the permissions and everything is already there customer was able to see the field in smart it so it is already with appropriate permissions and with this i'm just going to save this changes okay so i see that the changes have been saved with some warnings uh, which we expect due to the duplicate labels etc so nothing to worry about now let's look at this in action so for doing that since it is mid-tier based we first need to make sure we sync the cache so i'm going to just do a sync cache on mid-tier config page and okay i can see that sync cache has been completed now let's go back to progressive view itsm progressive view and refresh the screen all right so we see that after loading this page we can see that the client type field has come in however we have not yet implemented the other part of screen configuration which is based on the condition we want to hide this page like for example right now my incident priority is medium but if i change it to low the field needs to vanish that is my other requirement so let's do that i am now editing the ticket to change the priority
okay so let's reduce urgency to low so that priority also becomes low and save it as i can see the priority is reduced to low but the field is still visible because we have not implemented it so how do we go about implementing this now so let's go back to developer studio the way to provide client side interactivity is by means of active link so in this case we need to create a new active link on this hpd help desk form with a change field action that will allow us to hide fields using a qualification the same qualification which is priority is equal to low that is used in screen configuration so let's create a new workflow new active link here okay so we got a draft active link with hpdx desk already associated with it we want to make sure we provide public permission to this active link so let's add public permission from the list after permission we need to provide execution options we want this active link to always execute so execution order we will keep it as zero so that it does not get skipped and display and window open are the two events that i am going to use here to make sure they always get executed whenever the screen is loading the qualification that we want to provide is when priority is equal to low that is the qualification you need but in addition to that what we also need is whenever this field is available only in this progressive view we want to make sure this happens otherwise this does not happen so that is why i am going to add this additional qualification of view name is equal to sv underscore view so when this condition is true we basically want to hide the field so we are going to use change field action in the change field action i can choose the field or i know the field name now it's a contact client type is the field so let's choose that field we want to change visibility to hidden for this field let's save this active link i'm just going to call it as custom active link to hide client type uh, you will follow typically some naming convention that you will have but i have now saved this active link now for this active link to reflect same thing we just need to go back to mid tier configuration page and perform sync cache i can see that sync cache is completed let's go back to smart it with pwa and i can see the field here let's do a refresh and i can see that the field is no longer visible because it exactly matches the qualification we provided that is i am on a sp view and priority is low but let's just confirm that if i edit and switch the priority to not low in that case the field should come back again okay so we will change the assertion set to high so that calculated priority becomes medium let's save this as we save we are back on the view screen and i can see that the field is back so we are able to achieve whatever was done in screen configuration adding new field positioning it correctly providing qualification to hide or other actions that we want to take how we can convert them into a progressive view based customization with dev studio and progressive views hope this helps you in figuring out all all customizations that you can migrate from screen configuration into progressive views thank you for watching this video